In this video, we're going to be looking at two issues involving accounting for income taxes. Uh, we're going to be looking at how we're going to handle a situation uh, when we have an expense recognition uh, in financial accounting that occurs before uh, the deductibility uh, on the tax return and where we have uh, changes in tax rates uh, that are coming into play in the future years. We're going to use brief exercise 1610. It's on page 910 of the textbook. And in this problem, we have a company that has pre-tax accounting income of 291000 and taxable income of 300000 So there's a $9,000 I mean, $9, difference. And that is uh, accountable uh, because of a product warranty cost. Uh, as you remember, warranty costs are expense uh, in the same period in which the revenue associated with the products uh, that are covered by the warranty are sold. So all of the expense was taken for financial accounting in 2011, but for income tax purposes, we can only deduct them when actual payments are made, and we expect that to occur equally over the next three years. Uh, tax legislation has changed the tax rate from the current rate of 40% to 30% in two years. So for 2011 and 2012, the rate will be 40%. From 2013 and 14, the rate is going to be 30%. So we're going to set up a worksheet based on the information that is given. Pause the uh, the video here and set up a worksheet in Excel that looks similar to the one on the screen. For our current year, our pre-tax income is 291000 Our taxable income is uh, 300000 So we have a temporary difference, the difference between our financial and our income tax of nine million. That is going to be paid equally over the next three years, so that will create future deductions. That will offset part of our taxable income in 2012, 13, and 14, but we were showing all of the expense in the current period. When this occurs, we are going to be showing more income tax expense on the income statement than the actual tax paid for the, for the period. This difference is temporary. It will work itself out in the long run. So what we have here is a prepaid expense, which is expensed in one period and deducted in a future period. That creates a future deduction and is a tax asset. So when we have estimated expenses and losses, they are expensed in the period in which they occurred, and they are deducted in the future. So we have this situation here. Right for our current payable, that's going to be based on our taxable income, which is given in this problem. So we take our 300000 we multiply it by our tax rate, and we have a current payable of 120,000. Our tax asset is based on the amount that we are going to be able to deduct in the future. And that's going to be the future deduction times the tax rate that we anticipate. And that's going to change in 2013. So it won't be equal. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So our deferred tax asset is going to be the total of our future deductions times the appropriate tax rate. And at the end of this period, it will have a balance of 3000 uh, We began the year with a balance of zero, so we're going to have to increase that by uh, the 3000 So for our journal entry, we're going to be debiting income tax expense. We'll determine that amount based on our current taxes payable, and we determine that to be 120000 We also have a debit to our deferred tax asset account, and we've determined that needs to be $3 million which means our current income tax payable is our taxes payable minus our deferred tax asset or 117000